Hello, my lovely people. My name is Marina. Welcome to my Holiday Addict channel. Today, I have a little bit different video than I normally post. Today, we're going to be talking about how to save on holiday to be precise. Christmas is gone, New Year celebrations are past. I hope you all had the good ones. And now a lot of us thinking what we're going to do this summer for holiday. I'm discussing today £9.50 holiday from Sun newspaper because this opportunity going on right now. What do you need to do? You need to buy newspaper. They have print and token. You need to collect 10 of those. As soon as you have 10 tokens, you can use an app on your phone or you can go online and book three nights in the holiday parks. Holiday parks not only in UK, they have in France, Croatia, Italy, I think Germany as well. You need to go on our website and find out. I can't exactly remember. First of all, prices. Let's see, is it really £9.50 each or this is just advertising? Let's have a look at all the costs. We paid £38 for caravan, £9.50 each, and it doesn't matter if you go on your own, it's two of you or four of you, you have to pay minimum for four people. Then we had newspaper upgrade and mandatory service charge, which is included your gas electricity. We did pay for entertainment passes, I will be talking about those a little bit later. And we paid for bed linen because we didn't want to bring our own. We just wanted to arrive and everything be ready for us. So it did cost us £133.45 for three nights for four. £33.36, it's really cheap, not too shabby, but still nowhere near £9.50. If you book through the website directly, same deal will cost you £259. So using those tokens, you save almost half of it. I used this deal twice last year. Once in Wales, once in Scotland. So please watch this video to the end to find out because I will be comparing both of the holiday parks. This is where we're staying. Our caravan called the Elegance. It's not very elegant, but it was really good enjoyed it everything you need it is there one thing i can't understand is um oh everywhere rubbish bins there's a lot of them which is good but the all general waste i don't know if they have any recycling maybe by the reception but it's hard to look for it so we just put bottles and cardboard next to it nicely that they knew that we just couldn't find recycling this part of the park is for camper vans motorhomes if you want to come here with tent this is the part But when we was driving here, I understand this area is a very popular for caravan parks, for holiday parks, because they are everywhere. If you can see right there, just there across the road is another park. It's not ours, but everywhere. I think we count about four or five just in this little area. It's very easy to find your caravan. Maybe because I'm very, very first. This is my first time in the caravan park. I wasn't sure what it's like, but I'm quite impressed. Caravan itself, like I said, very comfortable, have everything. If you don't want to eat out, if you want to cook because uh, you want to save money, it's full kitchen. We could not light the grill up. I don't know why it's broken or something. For me, as long as I can have my cup of coffee in the morning, I'm very happy. We didn't really use cocoa or anything. I 
I know it might shock you, but I hate cooking. I love eating, but not cooking. So when I'm on holiday, I mostly eat out. And the breakfast, everybody knows, you can very quickly have have sandwich or a couple of eggs. Oh, look at this sunshine. We were so lucky with the weather. We were very worried coming from south to north and we thought, oh, it's going to be raining and cold. But no, it's lovely. I would like to remind you, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel for more videos about holiday around UK. around the Europe this is the place where you have all the entertainment reception and there on another side again just over there again another park this entertainment for another park, we actually had the food there because there wasn't serving any food in our place. There were, f there were so many people, they said it's too long to wait. So we decided that we're going to have food there. Before, I was very snooty about caravan parks and all this, this type of holiday, but I completely changed my mind. Little kids playground. It's a compact but very good. Mini golf. But this is properly mini golf. What also good about this park it's so close to everything and it's very close to motorway so anywhere you want to go from here you don't have to drive too far before we go any further please subscribe to my channel if you like this video give me a thumbs up thank you in advance this is a double bedroom. It's an ensuite toilet and a sink, but there is no shower in this one. And so we have iron board. Another bedroom with two single beds and a tiny wardrobe. And this is like a family bathroom. There's a shower here. And kitchen has everything, microwave, fridge, full. As I said, I will mention a little bit about uh, entertainment passes. We paid on both occasions in Wales and Scotland and we didn't use it. In Scotland we didn't use it at all. Park was almost closed, maybe because it was nearly end of the season, so we didn't really want it. It was all day out. Same thing happened in Wales, but one thing I have to say: if you go with children and you're planning to spend a lot of time in the park, if you want to use swimming pool, if you want to use game room, or you want to participate in the bingo or watch the show, you do need those passes. In Wales, even when you go to the complex, all the entertainment complex, there were two guards and they ask you for the pass and you can't even walk inside. 
I don't know if you can buy drink or food because obviously we had entertainment passes and we walk with them, but otherwise you have to have them everywhere. We only used them once only because I wanted to film a little bit and see what the entertainment is like just for you, that I can show it to you. But next time, if I use this deal again, I don't think we will be paying for entertainment passes. Because it's only adults and we spend all day out, we literally only use holiday parks to sleep. This is a restaurant if you want to have food. But it's very simple food. Today is very, very quiet because it's Sunday evening. Yesterday it was packed, packed with families. It was so noisy, so busy. We never even did want to come. Stage, bar. It's a stage to have bingo and cheesy holiday park entertainment. And a lot of toys. Please welcome to the stage the legend here at Tamawa. It's James Barlow. You have program for whole week of the entertainment. So today is a James Barlow. If I have to compare two parks, one in Wales, one in Scotland, they're both great. The both was good. Um, in Wales was much nicer caravan itself. It was big, it was much more space. But in Scotland, even caravan was itself was a little bit smaller. The setting was much, much more beautiful. There was sea view and uh, some park itself. It was so lovely. Everything was so close. This is where we stay in, Wemis Bay Caravan Park. Train station from here, just cross the road. Caravan Park sat in a very nice, hilly and slightly woody area. I can imagine if you come here in the summer, it's going to be more lively. The season here is obviously ending. Even in the uh, shop, they said they're closing on the 10th of November. So literally in a couple of weeks. I never was a type of people who stay in the caravan parks. I'm all kind of a hotel girl. But this is my second time and I've been converted. It's very comfortable. It's clean. Yeah, why not? I don't think it's my last caravan holiday. Okay, this is our caravan in Scotland. It's a smaller one that we had in Wales, but it has everything. Fully equipped kitchen, TV, nice sitting room, park car, right? big fridge. And this is nice bathroom and shower. smaller bedroom I know we're already leaving it's a bit mess we push the beds together because Abigail said the beds is too narrow and this is a master bedroom as you can see they have hair dryer this is the door to the bathroom 
So it's plenty big enough and we were very happy here for the past three days. This is the view we have from our caravan. All park set up on a hill, so it doesn't matter where you are, you everywhere have a very nice view. Would I recommend it still? Yes, I definitely would. I know how a lot of people thinking about some newspaper. I totally agree, but for me, newspapers, I don't really care. I don't even read it. I just get my, got my coat and done with it. But it's definitely worth it. Will I use it again? Yes, I'm actually just about to book uh, my seven days in Italy. They have a late card available because I did check what countries on the list and I'm thinking why not. So I definitely recommend collect the tokens and book this holiday. And so, yeah, yeah, that one, isn't it?